I'm ready. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, the radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawaho and Nakwat, Unsme Borturwan di Quarte, Ul Solus Fras Hunakudi de Unzum Huraz, Des Dere has Zohumsi. I'm in. getting hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's gonna go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. You're breaking up, Sean. Hey, hey, again, please. You're breaking up. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. Why don't you try calling us when you're topside? Don't be like that. Here we go. and the ice melted. Anyone want to end their life here unless they felt it was just beginning? It's just like the animus. It's just like the animus. Valhalla or, or assimilation so what am I looking for will I know it when I see it something feels off Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? We will never end. So here we went, in fealty to our master. Who 
Who's your master? Is he here? <laughs> they flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lasses that enwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. Layla. Hello. You know me? Yes. Through the calculations I read here in the Grey. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15,055,003,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these... possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these. Searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limited. How do you mean? What if you went back further, to 
2012 when Desmond saved the world. Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck! Alright. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave... So be it. I owe this to the people I... I hurt. The people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. that but I'm not afraid and I'm not alone we have work to do work that may take us days or years it's impossible to say but we'll finish it what I mean is don't come looking for me it's too dangerous and and too late take care of yourself take care of the world we still have you see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! You hurt her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you! You left her there! This... This is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man.
We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishim. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use, to find my children, and bring my family back together. A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. effect shouldn't take long to kick in, a few days at most. So here we go. Tovi. Welcome home. Just a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment, and rest. Sigurd. 
for me. Gift of the gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I... Um... returned inside of the hearth come your secret is no longer safe hey vor Ranvi. what is this is everything all right our yarl has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future will you speak to your people For love and joy, words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed my words gain wings. Odin's mead I form will bring. For noble deeds thine honor sing. Fight for we who Sigurd, Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly, but our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, we will grow together. Then I'm glad for you both, and for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. <laughs> 